the last part of this complex number. So number five is about modulus of Z. Or we can see it in R. Or we can see it in this sign, modulus sign, which is dua palang ini. When you see dua palang ini, untuk complex number, means indicate that they ask you to find for its modulus. So when you want to find the modulus, actually the, the meaning of finding the modulus is the length of the complex number and the magnitude of the complex number. The formula for modulus will be a square plus b square. You can see without i. So it is very important for every time when we have a complex number, you manage to identify out what is a and what is b. So for let's say for this z1, what is the modulus for this z1? It will be equals to square root of its a square, which is 3 square plus 4 square equals to 5. So means that this complex number, you will be having the length of 5 unit, 5 unit from the origin. Okay, the length of this complex number has 5 unit magnitude, nilai panjang dia 5 daripada origin kita. So for this Z2, of course also the same, Z2, you will have square root of more negative 3 square, so have to put in bracket plus 4 square. So if you didn't put in bracket, it will become 3 square only. Without the bracket, if you write like this, the meaning here is 3 square only. So it will be a, a careless mistake here. So make sure we put the bracket for negative number. So this one also come to 5. Okay. Set 3, when you want to find the modulus of it, 3 square plus negative 4 square because the b is negative 4, also 5. Set 4, square root of negative 3 square plus negative 4 square. So coincidence, I give you the complex number or are having the same length, which is 5. So that will be our modulus. So we continue to the next part. The next part will be number 6, which is our Arden, Argon diagram. What's mean by Argon diagram? It's a diagram to draw out this complex number. So we are, I'm using the four example, same complex number A, B, C, D. So for the first Argon diagram, how we're going to draw? For the X axis, it represents the real part. For Y axis, it represents the imaginary part for the complex number. So for the real part is positive number 3. So it at the right hand side. And then A is 3, B is 4. So imaginary part B is 4. So here is our complex number Z1 equals to 3 plus 4i. So this is our complex number. So this Argon diagram, when we draw out our complex number, we can see our position of our complex number. So this complex number in quadrant 1. What is the length? What is the length? What's the modulus of this Z1? Which is 3 square plus 4 square and square root. Actually, just now what we calculate is this. The length of the complex number, which is 5. Kepanjangan complex number sini 5. Kenapa 5? Macam Pythagoras theorem. So this formula is like a bit similar to Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is C square equals to A square plus B square for a right angle triangle so this is our a this is our b this is our c so when we find when you look at our argon diagram here actually our complex number is located in first quadrant in a right angle triangle form so this is our three square plus four square when we square root we get this length of complex number which is five okay so when we have the argon diagram we can see it clearly for question B, what, what if our real part is negative? So, of course, if negative means the position here will go to the left hand side, negative 3. And then this imagined part, this is real part. Make sure you label your x axis and y axis. x axis label is real part. y axis label is imaginary part. So, imaginary part is 4. So, this complex number in for two, complex number number two, 
it is located in quadrant 2. Quadrant 2 in our argon diagram. So for this <coughs> for this session, we need our argon diagram to find out the argument everything. So this is important, you know how to draw your argon diagram and then locate you know the location of the complex number. So for complex number number three, it will be three negative four means three at the right hand side real part. Imaginary part. So three here, imaginary part is negative. So this is my location for this complex number. This is complex number number three. Quadrant number four, located at quadrant number four. When we come to these questions, real imagine part. Make sure you draw using your ruler, yeah. So negative three, negative four. So this is my complex number. It is located at here. Z four. So just now, what we what we calculate just now, our modulus all is five. Kepanjangan complex number ni semua lima. So apa tiga square empat square tapak lima. Sini, lojok mana? Lojok sini ya. So, tiga square. Tiga square. Walaupun koordinat dia negatif tiga. So, tapi, panjang sini tiga, betul tak? So, negative is just a position for us to put the koordinat. So, that you know the location. So, when after you put the negative, you know the location already. You must identify the length. So, the length here is three. The length here is four. So, here the hypotenuse length here is Five. So this this is our modulus of z actually. <coughs> our modulus of z, which is equals to five. Bermaksud ke panjangan sini ke sini. Panjangan sini ke sini. Okay. So when we uh, look at the complex number in quadrant four, also they will build up the same triangle here. Triangle here. So base is three. Then this is four. It's not negative four. Yeah, negative four. Just a, just the coordinate for it. So the length here is four. So three square, four square. You get five. So for here, this is our length here is three. Length here is four. Why is four? Because you can see, ah, uh, kedalaman dia empat. Okay, CC dia sini tiga. So tiga empat tapaklah modulus sini lima. Itulah sebab kita punya complex number keempat empat saya bagi jawab. Contoh ini semua modulus li, modulus complex number lima lima lima. Tetapi bila kita put in the position in other diagram, you can see they are in different quadrant. So this is in quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant three, quadrant four. So that is very important. We know our position of our complex number so that we can find our argument, which is the angle generated by our complex number. Argument, or we can write it ARZ. ARG in the bracket, Z, Z means for that complex number. ARG 3 plus 4i. So we know that oh, ARG is the angle for the complex number. So have you done this? Hey, have you done drawing? Yes. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay. So continue. Now we're going to look at angle. So before we're going to look at the angle, you must know how they calculate their angle. So the angle made by the complex number, they are calculated in the direction of negative pi until pi. What's mean by negative pi until pi? Pi is equals to 180, but we're not using degree. We must use in radian. So make sure your calculator mode must be in radian. If you're using degree, so all the answer will be incorrect. So calculator mode, please take please, uh, set to radian first. <coughs> Shift mode, take the radian. So you can see a R up there on your calculator. So how they're going to calculate? 
So for argument, their angle is calculate negative pi. Negative pi means opposite direction. Normally, when we're doing trigo, they will calculate like this. First quadrant, go to second quadrant, go to the quadrant, go to fourth quadrant. They will, in anti-clockwise rotation, they will rotate like this. Open the angle like this. Okay. So, but in argument, they will say negative pi. Negative pi means reverse direction, negative 180. So, it will from here, open to this direction, finish. And then positive pi. Positive pi means follow back the direction, 0 to pi. Like this so how this is how they get through for the quadrant quadrant one quadrant two if you want to go for quadrant three you have to start back from here negative angle quadrant four negative angle so you cannot do like our trigonometry just one one direction of the rotation so the radian the cal the angle calculate here will be one two three uh, one two four three and then must use radians, must use radian, they must use pi, cannot use degree. <coughs> so this is what you need to remember. Calculator must be in radian. Open open direction must be in one, two, four, three. One, go to two, four, go to three. So after we look so after we look at our argon diagram we know our position okay so this is i make it big this is our argon diagram where our complex number it might be in quadrant one it might be located in quadrant two it might be located in quadrant three it might be located in quadrant four just like what's the what's the example we are doing just now maybe quadrant one quadrant two quadrant three quadrant four so we must see how the angle rotate for quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's say if the complex number in quadrant 1. So the angle generate will be like this. Open from S axis here. Uh, open from S axis here. And then that will be our angle. So if your complex number at quadrant 2. So the angle open it will be from 0 to this part. So this is our argument for quadrant complex number in quadrant 2. Okay. So meanwhile, for quadrant 4, it will be some complex number in quadrant 4. The argument for the complex number in quadrant 4, it will be open in this direction. So this is our argument. This is our angle. Argument means angle. Angle, angle generated by our complex number. So if your complex number in quadrant 3, so your angle of the generation will be start from S and C and then go until here. So this is our angle generated. So in order to calculate this angle generate, we must have our basic angle. What is our basic angle? It's an angle in a triangle where you can find out your trigo. This is our basic angle alpha. Uh, just now, like what we calculate for our modulus of the complex number. Uh, this is a triangle we use here. Okay, this is a triangle we use here. So the angle inside here is your basic angle. It's not the data yet. So this is a triangle we use here. So this is a triangle we use here. So for every quadrant, it will have their own reference triangle. So now I will draw out the reference triangle. So for this quadrant one, the reference triangle will be at here. So the alpha will be located at here. So can you see it clearly? This is our first quadrant. So the basic angle reference at here. And at the same time, you will notice that actually 
here can give us an answer that when you want to find our argument, our data, actually a data for this complex number in quadrant 1, for this Z1, will be equals to our alpha because their angle are having the same, same opening angle. So if we move to quadrant 2, if we move to quadrant 2, the basic angle reference at here, the triangle will add here. This is our A, real number. Okay, so this is our A. This is our B, correct? Uh? A is our real part. B is our imaginary part. So this is our A. This is our B. So when we located at there, my basic angle is at here. So for, a base, for our basic angle means the base will be A. The height of the triangle will be B, which is our imaginary part. This is our real part. This is our imaginary part. So imaginary part is holding for B, real part is A holding. So you can see the base is here, A. A, because A is for real part. B is for imaginary part. So height of the triangle is your B. When we go for quadrant 3, their reference basic angle is at here. So same also, A is at A, B, C. So they are basic angle at here. Okay, so this is our real part. This is our imaginary part. And for the last one, quadrant 4, the reference triangle is at here. So here will be the alpha. I put in black color so that you can see it clearly. All right. So first of all, I want to repeat. I want to repeat. First of all, we must know our angle generated by our first quadrant. This is first quadrant. This is second quadrant. Go there. This is our fourth quadrant. Reverse direction. Go down. And then this is the third quadrant. This is an angle. What is what is the angle? Argument. Argument. Angle. Theta. So angle. He's talking about angle now. Angle made by your complex number. So that will be our first concept. Second concept, we must know where is the basic angle, where is the triangle located. So basic angle, the alpha is located at here. For quadrant 2, the alpha is located at here. For quadrant 3, the alpha is located at here. And for quadrant 4, the alpha is located at here. So in order to get the alpha, we, we need to use our three goal where opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent, it will be tangent B over A. So our alpha will be, our basic angle will be getting shift tangent B over A. So as the formula given here, I write down here already, basic angle, you can shift tangent B over A. So this is how we press your calculator shift tangent. But actually we call it art tangent. Art tangent. Art tangent of B over A. So B is imaginary part, your length of the height of the triangle, and then A is a base of your triangle. So after you get the basic angle, after you get your basic angle, now we can get our argument where we can see in first quadrant the angle of the complex number is equal to the basic angle you can see here this is our angle data it is same with the alpha but when we go to second quadrant the angle is open like that generate in in this way so this is the angle generate in this way but my basic angle is at here so in, a, in order to get the angle in second quadrant, I need pi minus alpha. Pi 
referring to 180. 180 means half circle. So this is my pi. When my pi minus this alpha, I will get the red color angle here. Can you understand? Are you, are you okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 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 So we can continue to the reverse direction. When you want to go for the quadrant four, you can see this is the angle opening. So basically, this is same with this alpha. So angle opening is same with this alpha. Tapi tak mungkin mereka sama. Kan? Ini in opposite direction. So we have to negative the answer. When the when the angle come in in opposite way, like your physics, anything in opposite direction, we need to negative because this is better, uh, negative. Uh, okay. So when you want to come to third quadrant, when you want to come to third quadrant, I want to get this angle. So same concept, I want to get that angle. I need pi minus the alpha so that I can get this value. Pi is 180. Minus this basic angle, I can get this opening of the angle, opening of the data here. So, but it is come with opposite direction. I need to negative the whole thing. So, there will be difference. The angle at first quadrant, the angle at second quadrant, the angle at fourth quadrant, then the angle at third quadrant. So, the angle at first and second quadrant, the answer will be positive. The angle for third and fourth quadrant, the ans the answer will be negative because it, it indicate that the angle the angle is open in opposite direction. So this is how we get our argument. And then, what we need to uh, be careful here is, what we need to be careful here. Remember is for this part. For B over A. You have to remember we are not using coordinate, we are using length. So B must be put length, positive value. A must be put positive value because it is indicate the length at here. A must be positive value. B also positive value. So you even your coordinate at the negative part, negative part, negative part, the B and A here. Remember the length, we are using length of it. If we are not using the coordinate of it. So you have to put positive part, then only you can get the correct basic angle. So therefore, from here, we can do a conclusion that, conclusion that when you want to find When we want to find an argument, first of all, we need argon diagram. After we need, after we draw the argon diagram, we can identify the formula clearly. This formula, or this, or this, or this. So, secondly, we are going to calculate our basic angle, which is shift tangent B over A. So, make sure you be careful with your working here your b over a here don't make the coordinate inside just positive value just take the value on it just take the magnitude because because panjang 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 adalah positive dia takkan panjang dia negative so after you get the basic angle then only number three you come to the data following the formula by each quadrant by each quadrant. So different quadrant, different formula of the data. So that is the argument part. Okay. Conclusion. Without other diagram, we hardly to see where is our complex number. When we hardly to see where's a complex number, we hardly to identify what's the formula I should use. 
Do you have any problem? No, no, no. Okay. So we can test our answer. We can test our uh, complex number here. One, two, three, four. So actually, we already draw it. Correct. Never mind. We can just sketch it one more time. For for this a, it is located at first quadrant. Three four. Imagine the part. So that is our first step. Second step, we are going to find our basic angle. So basic angle will be shift tangent B. B is imaginary part 4 over 3. So when you shift tangent, you get press your calculator, shift tangent 4 over 3. You can get 0 0.9276. Make sure give an answer more than three significant. More than three significant here got four significant, one significant, two significant, three significant, four significant. Okay, give more significant to avoid routing error. Because mathematics, when you slide a bit here, slide a bit here, then when you calculate at the end of the answer, it will be different a lot. So give more decimal to save your final answer. In Okay, number three. I want to find the argument ARG for this complex number, which is data. Which is data. So number three, in first quadrant, data will equals to alpha. So data will equals to alpha zero nine two seven three radian done so this is how we find our argument all right are you okay 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 miss then we go for second example so second example by how also you need to draw number two so I draw it at side here, number two, first step, number two. So negative, so I negative here, negative three, four. So notice that this complex number, imaginary part, then real part, make sure you label, yeah. Okay, label your diagram. So we can notice that it is at quadrant two. So second step, we come to basic angle alpha it will be shift tangent do i need to put negative three or three here three yes three only three only because we are taking the length of this triangle the length here the length here length is four here length is only three to come out our basic angle so three on it so you'll notice that 0 0.927 same because i are using the same value that's why you're getting the same okay so third step we are going to refer to its argument which is data quadrant two quadrant two argument will be equal to pi minus alpha so pi will minus alpha. So you can press your calculator. It will equal to 2.214. Radian. So put your unit radian. Okay. Okay, done.
managed to get it? Yes, miss. Ah, yes, any questions? Dia kena tolak sebab yang kita cari tu 0.923 ini basic angle dia kat sini. Oh. Ah, tapi kita punya bukaan complex number tu adalah dari sini ke sini. So itu yang kita ambil pi keluarkan. Keluarkan basic angle ni supaya kita dapat bukaan besar ni. Ha. So sometimes we see the formula is like very easy but we will practice right ha. Then only we can see the concept So mathematics it needs a lot of practice instead of just memory Memor Memorize something cannot work for math mathematics Mathematics needs hand on So you need to do your exercise, exercise and practice practice and then you will familiar Can? So here is our alpha here so we are finding, we can do some not, not, notes here, we are finding here. This is the data. So that's why pi minus alpha to get the data. Any question? So this is my alpha. This is also my data. Any questions? Or I proceed? Ada soalan tak? Question. Okay, no. so we proceed. Proceed me. Okay, C. This was real number. I want to find for quadrant 4 first before we go in quadrant 3. So, imagery number, real number. This is 3. This is negative 4. So I want to do quadrant 4 first. Three negative four. So that will be my first step. Second step, alpha equals to shift tangent B over A. B four. A is three. Okay, so remember don't put your negative. Don't put your melt negative. Straight away, take the length B. Ketinggian imagine sini. Triangle kat sini. Our triangle at here. At here. Alpha. Our triangle at here. So, height is 4. Base is 3. So, after we Calculate this uh, to save the time. That's why I give you the same value. Actually, we done it. Shift tangent B over four, B over A. So if can, we put a bracket. Easier to see. So answer is. 0 0.9273 as internally I just give you the same numbers but you can try a lot of different numbers in your tutorial and in your past year the concept is same okay when you're doing your past year you you confuse you cannot do your argument you check this is the way doing the complex number in quadrant one this is the way doing the complex number in quadrant two now we are going to do the com complex number in quadrant two quadrant, three, quadrant four for this argument so after we get the basic angle, we are going to calculate this argument, which is theta. So in quadrant 4, theta will be negative because it's come to the reverse direction. Negative alpha, so negative 0 0.9273 radian. Or not because the angle 
angle open for cardian fault, it come to this way. Huh. It come to this way. Value will be same in same with alpha, but direction direction is rotate from the down here. It will be opposite, so direction will be negative already. Value same. Value is same, but direction negative because it can't hit reverse direction. Understand what reverse direction? Because one, suppose it is one, two, three, four. This is follow the direction of trigonometry. For this complex number, it just do one, two, and then four, three. So this part reverse direction, it comes to negative angle. So that's why we get negative angles here. Can or not? Can me? So we go for number D. We draw first. So our first step we draw. Second step we find basic angle. Last step only we find can find out the argument. So do it step by step. If one step you are wrong, then everything you get wrong. Okay. So this one negative three indicate at left hand side negative four at down here so it comes to quadrant 3 so in quadrant 3 in quadrant 3 we want to find our number 2 basic angle alpha which is shift tangent B is 4 A is 3 because our triangle at here our basic angle at here our basic angle at here it's like a ribbon. How we remember our basic angle, you can see back here, it's like a ribbon or a butterfly. It is attached at S axis here. Uh, so this is very easy to remember. It attached to S axis. It's not attached at Y axis. So this is my basic angle. 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 It's like a ribbon. So when you memorize this later on, chapter 7, when we're going to Learn again in trigonometry, we will use it again. Okay? Basic angle, alpha. So in quadrant 3, the alpha basic angle is attached at x axis here. So what you can find is equals to 0, 9, 3, 7. Therefore, the third step we want to find its argument. It will equals to formula will be negative in the bracket pi minus alpha. So we want to find its angle. We angle from here to there. Okay, our angle from here to here. How to find this angle? It will be pi minus alpha, but the direction is at the bottom here, reverse direction. Therefore, we have a negative to indicate its direction come from the bottom there. So, therefore, plug in our value. So you can get negative two two point two one four three radian. So of course you press your calculator, you press like this, yeah, including the bracket. Okay. Are you okay? Okay, my baby. me. So we go for the last part of this. 
complex number, it will be polar form. So as we learned in the morning just now, A plus BI is standard form. This is real part, this is imaginary part. When it changes to polar form, so you have to take down, this is standard form. As we see it in this morning, a lot of complex number written in this way. So when you change it to polar form, what we need here means we change it to in terms of trigonometry for coin and cost and sign. So what we need here, we need a R. So R here represents your modulus. If you still remember just now, R. What is your R? The symbol of R. We revise back. The symbol of R refer to modulus of Z. Then what is data? Data is the argument of the set, means angle. So when you want to change to polar form, we need to find out what is modulus and what is our argument here. So we need these two information. That's why why that's why what we learned just now is modulus and then after that we learn argument. So by referring back our complex number 3 plus 4i, please write it in polar form 3 plus 4i. So as we remember just now, modulus, modulus, okay, 3 plus 4i, the modulus is 5. What is argument like? What is argument? Argument is 0 0.9273. So therefore, the polar form of this complex number, it will be 5 in black cat, cos 0 0.9273 plus i, sine 0 0.9273. So you notice that we still have your imaginary part. We still have our real part. How I know this is imaginary part? Because when I see got I unit, imaginary unit means this is imaginary part. Lah. So we will write in our polar form. This is in standard way. This is in standard way. So this is in polar form. So two way of writing complex number. Okay, no need to calculate anything, just a right-turn way. Penulisan yang berlainan saja. Just plug in your modulus and plug in your argument to form up your polar form. Okay, nak? So, polar form satu maka saja. Jangan ingat dia complicated, dia tak complicated. Dia, dia just a penulisan, cara penulisan yang berbeza. So, yang complicated tu kat sini, banyak benda kena kira ialah argument dia, angle dia. So, just now what we do here, negative 3, 4i, all modulus is, as, as we remember just now, all the modulus here is 5, this complex number also 5, this complex number also 5, correct or not? We can double check. Uh, 3 plus 4, I 5, 3 minus 4, 5, negative 3, negative 4, 5. So, but argument difference. Argument. So, what is argument for this negative 3 plus 4, I will refer at the negative 3 plus 4, I 2.2143. So, 5 in that bracket cos 2.2143 plus I sine. 2.2143. So I want to put like that. Also can. The one also can. Because this is not, not affect anything. But if you have negative angle, yes. So negative angle, for example, 3 minus 4i. 3 minus 4i is this. Uh, answer of this negative. So when I want to write it, This one must put must put the bracket to indicate that what I'm looking here in the bracket is the angle in negative. It's not the minus concept. 
is not doing minus concept. So lastly, for negative 3, negative 5, 4i, the argument is negative 2.2143. So the, the polar form plus i sine negative 2.2143 finish. So this is the polar form of this for example. That we start beginning from calculate their modulus, draw their icon diagram, find their basic angle, and then find their argument. Then only we can reach until polar form. So do you have any problem? No, miss. No, miss. 